The Integrated Erosion Tool, or IET, is a new tool developed to replace the revised Universal Soil Loss Equation, or Russell II, and the Wind Erosion Prediction System, or WEPS. IET is an ArcMap add-in, and as such, it will interface with a digital map to help the planner visually see the fields that they are working on and be able to identify on the map field characteristics, such as barriers, that will affect soil loss calculations. Since IET is a geospatially based system, it is able to read information from other data layers to save the planner time in looking up information. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the advantages of using IET and describe the IET interface. IET is designed to be a simple and accurate tool to identify resource concerns. It's designed to efficiently and scientifically validate that plans meet planning criteria. It's designed to ensure the most current models and data are being used for erosion estimates and provide understandable information for planner and client conversations. It's also designed to be a resource analysis tool that interfaces with a digital map. If you had to calculate water and wind erosion for a land unit, you would have to run both Russell 2 and WEPS. Imagine that you had two cars to get to another location and you are alone. How would you do that? You would probably have to get into one car, get everything set, adjust your seat position, put on your seat belt, adjust the mirrors, etc., then drive the car to the finish. Then you would have to walk back to the start, get in the second car, get everything set, adjust your seat position, put on your seat belt, adjust the mirrors, etc., then drive the car to the finish. Running two separate tools for erosion calculations is similar to that process. IET runs both tools at the same time. Another advantage to IET is its system architecture. In Russell 2 and WEPS, the user interface, the calculation engine, and the data is all stored on the individual computer. If one part of that system needs to be updated, it has to be updated on every computer running the software. How many computers do you think there are in NRCS offices with Russell 2 or WEPS installed? So, if the climate database is updated, the database has to be manually updated on every one of those computers. Do you think there are computers in NRCS offices that do not have the most up-to-date information in Russell 2 or WEPS? In IET, the user interface is installed on the computer but the calculation engines and the data is stored in the cloud environment on servers in Fort Collins. If the climate database needs to be updated, it is done on the server and all the computers running IET across the nation instantly uses the updated information. IET is not just an erosion prediction tool. It gives the water and wind erosion estimates but also provides the planner with the soil tillage intensity rating, or STIR value, and the soil conditioning index, or SCI. It also provides an energy estimate based on the fuel type and uses and gives a particulate matter estimate from the dust created by wind erosion. IET can display graphically components of the erosion to aid the planner in identifying erosive periods and assist the planner in explaining concerns to the client. IET directly assesses five of the 44 resource concerns. Soil erosion, sheet and rill erosion in the form of tons per acre per year. Soil erosion, wind erosion in the form of tons per acre per year. Soil quality, organic matter depletion in the form of the soil conditioning index. Energy, field operations in the forms of gallons of fuel per acre. And air quality, particulate matter in the form of PM10 parts per million. Since the IET interface is an ArcMap add-in, the window is a floating window that can be docked at various locations in the ArcMap window or moved to a second monitor. Note that the IET interface is divided into several panes for entering information, such as the crops operations pane, the soil climate pane, the slope practice pane, and others. We will look at those individual panes. 
in the crops operation pane, just like Russell 2 and WEPS, IET uses managements that detail the particular operations and crops for a particular crop system. The managements can be loaded from the Crop Management Zone, or CMZ, database that Russell 2 and WEPS currently use. Once loaded into IET, the management from the CMZ may be edited to fit local conditions. The user may also create a management from scratch and build their own managements. If a CMZ management is edited or a management is created from scratch, the user has the option to save the management locally on their computer as a rotation file in case it is needed for other land units or customers. The planner will also be able to copy a management from one field to another. So once a management is loaded from the CMZ, edited, or created, it can be copied to all fields that use the same management, which will save time for the planner. In both Russell 2 and WEPS, the planner must look up and select the soils and climate. In the soil climate pane, IET defaults the soil and climate based on the map, which is a time saver for the planner. The default soil for water erosion is the soil that is more than 10% of the area that has the highest K factor. The default soil for the wind erosion is the soil that is more than 10% of the area that has the highest sand percentage in the surface layer. The soils for wind and water erosion can be changed if the planter feels a different soil is representative of the field. For example, if a soil with a lower K value for water erosion is 85% of the field, the planter may choose to use that soil. In both Russell 2 and WEPS, the planner must enter the slope and length. In IET, in the slope practice pane, the slope is defaulted from the representative slope and length from NASA's. It should be changed to meet field conditions. The planner may also add additional segments. For example, if the field slope is 2.5% for 200 feet, then becomes steeper, the planner can add a segment and enter 4% slope for 100 feet. The planner may also select contouring, strips, barriers, and or diversions, terraces, or sediment basins that occur in the field. In WEPS, the planner must manually enter the shape and size of the field. In IET, the shape and size of the field will be automatically calculated from the spatial shape of the selected field. The planner can change the information as needed. For the best estimate of wind erosion, the planner should also adjust the orientation of the field to meet actual field conditions. The planner should also add any barriers to wind erosion on the sides of the field. Being able to visually see the size, shape, orientation, and barriers of the field on the map can aid the planner in entering accurate information. On the run simulation pane, the planner can run a simulation with the currently selected parameters. Results are displayed after the run completes and the planner may save the results to be displayed in the planning summary pane. On the analyze results pane, the planner has the option to create various graphs that may be useful in identifying critical periods for erosion as well as explaining the results to the client. On the planning summary pane, the planner may view all saved runs by the scenario type. The planning summary allows the planner to better compare different alternatives to present to the client. IET can also create reports that show the results to document the assessment. Further IET resources are available on the Customer Service Toolkit SharePoint site and the IET Connect page. Direct support to field staff may vary by state, but will probably include area resource conservationists as well as area and state agronomists and OCIO CTS for code issues.